Welcome to this week's episode of That PDX Life, where we give you the inside scoop of what it's like to move to and live in the Portland metro area. We're your hosts. I'm Tara Stone. And I'm Tamara Thayer, soon to be Tamara Stone as well. <laughs> On this week's episode, we're going to share with you our top, or not ours, but according to Niche.com's top 10 neighborhoods to move to when you're thinking about moving to the area. Yep. And stick around till the end because we do have a bonus neighborhood. Yeah. And if you're new and haven't watched us before, yeah. please subscribe and like and all the great things so that you can yeah. see every episode that we do from here on out. We're pretty excited to have you. And so. we're pretty rad. So stay tuned. <laughs> We've helped a ton of people move from outside of the Portland area and shown them around town. And we would love to be able to help you. Yeah. If you'd like us to do that, feel free to, uh, you can comment down below. Mm -hmm. You can email us, you can call us or text us, whatever. However works. you want to get a hold of us. We're here for you and we have your back. 24 seven. So let's get into it, shall we? Yeah. We're going to start with number one. Again, these are according to niche.com, but we are going to throw at you some of our favorite ha haunts in each of the areas. So, okay. You're in luck. So Healy Heights, you can see here on the map. Um, it's also called Council Crest. Uh, there's some beautiful homes with lots of views. It is on the west side of the river. So you are going to have some elevation and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, what's a little more about Healy Heights, Tim? So it is technically a suburb of the Portland metro area. It has A rated schools, according to niche.com, and tons of restaurants, as well as what Tara was saying with all of the heights and things like that. It's a great area for cyclists who are looking yeah. for some elevation. Yeah, it's uh, it's real tough, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's for real avid cyclists yeah, who like to climb. It's fun and then you, yeah, you get your elevation. Yeah. So uh, one of our favorite haunts there is the Crystal Springs Rhododendron. And we have the link um, included in the description box there if you want to check out what that looks like. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. It's nine acres and it has all kinds of rare um, plants and trees and things like that. So yeah. if that's something you're interested in, you should check it out. For sure. Number two. Okay. Oh, I love this neighborhood. Okay. I'm moving on to East Moreland, number two. So East Moreland is kind of a bedroomish, a little bit. Um, it's really close to Selwood, which is a favorite place of ours. Mm -hmm. I would say the number one thing East Moreland is known for, it's like historic Portland homes, but they have a beautiful golf course there. Yes. And uh, I go there frequently to go to the driving range to practice because I'm not so good, but um, I'm excellent. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, <kidding. laughs> close by there though is also Reed College. So you get kind of a mix in variety of the Love people Reed who College. live there. It's really good for families. According to niche.com, it has an A minus rated, uh, rated schools, schools there. I like um, the parks right there, East and oh, West yeah. Moreland, right next mm -hmm. to each other. They're right off of 99E, otherwise known as McLaughlin. Yep. Um, there's a little pond where you, a man-made pond where you see lots of ducks and can hang out with the littles. Go to the ducks. Yes. Uh, there's also great um, baseball and softball fields out there. So if you yeah. are into the co-ed softball and stuff like that, it's a fun place for those sorts of things. Moving on to, oh, number three. Number three. I'm, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Edit we have our too. list because it keeps us on task, you guys. Yeah. So, but it's giving okay. me trouble. <laughs> Arlington Heights. It's also really great for um, young professionals and families. Yep. And so on the map, you're going to see it's located on the west side again of the again. Willamette. Yeah. Um, it's near Washington Park and Piddock Mansion, mm -hmm. and it's close to the Oregon Zoo and Hoyt Arboretum. Yeah. There's actually quite a few neighborhoods in this list that kind of like border all yeah. of that stuff. So you'll see that there. It'll be a little bit of a mix. You can get to some things, you know, much easier um, depending on where it is. Oh, we haven't talked yet about the median um, household value, oh, yeah. um, which is, you know, part of our specialty <laughs> as realtors. And in that area, the median home value is about 715, 716. Yep. Um, so it's kind of in the higher echelon, but um, also because you have all those great amenities 
amenities close by as well yeah. and views and things like that that you don't yeah. necessarily get in other areas. And again, great schools there according to Niche mm -hmm. and um, it's right off of 26 so you could head out to the coast really easily. Really so that's, easy. That's really yeah. nice. Off of the Sunset Highway. Number four. Number four. 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 <laughs> is Bethany. So Bethany is what is commonly referred to as a bedroom community, which means that it's kind of a sleepy area, nice to walk the dog and the kids, yeah. not a whole lot of busy traffic, uh, at least in the neighborhood itself, because there's yeah. no big throughways all over the place where, you know, you're kind of tucked up. a little bit. It does have a lot of parks though, and this would be definitely good for that family vibe. Um, Again, great Walking schools, the nature trails, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. And this again is over on the west side, so you'll check it out on the map. On the map. Uh, it's a little bit smaller of an area, but uh, mm. pretty desirable from yeah. what we hear from our clients. So. Washington County, so not the Multnomah County taxes. And another great place to go is the Portland Community College Recreational Complex that's out there. Yeah, if you find yourself mm. in that area. Okay, so this is one of my favorites number five it's the northwest district so i live over on the east side but if i was going to move i would probably want to move close to this area because it literally has everything it's like families young professionals mm -hmm. a little bit of all of that and you can mm -hmm. get walkable which is really nice yes in the alphabet district part of that yeah knob hill that's the alphabet district you know that's on the other side Knob Hill is mm. Knob Hill and Alpha mm. District are like that. But aren't they next to each other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way. <laughs> Go <-ga! laughs> um, So this place has uh, Whole Foods. It has no, the Alphabet District is right there because it goes Knob Hill Alphabet District. So you're gonna the, see it on the map. The peculiar the peculiarium is Ooh. right underneath the Alphabet District. All right. Well, you'll see on the map. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna link down the to the peculiarium. Yeah. Uh, like weird stuff. You can go with the kids or not because it's a little bit scary. You know, they when say. they say keep Portland weird, this is one of the places that keeps Portland weird. I think we talked about this. There's that. Is it the Whole Foods that's right there? What is that? That's right Whole there. Whole Foods. It's uh, Powell Book is, is literally on the south portion of that that you would hit. So that's, yeah, we talked about that in the pearl, I think. Yeah. But what's the one that's off of Burnside? That's this one. Right. But the grocery store, is it New Seasons? Zupan. Zupan. That's the one. Yeah. Zupan. This one is great. next to the pearl. That's why I'm thinking about yeah. the house. You're yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. We've got it, you guys. Look at the map. <laughs> we can't you guys get to see all. the map right now. We're not looking at the map. The reason we're like having, oh, where where does it in relation in my brain of where this is? Anyway, the median home value in the Northwest District is about 614. So a little bit yeah more uh, middle range I should say and when they talk about the median home price it's important to note this is including single family and condos and townhouses yeah. so All if we just looked at single family it's going to be a different number there is great bars restaurants shopping all up in that oh, it's area just it's, awesome. that's why she's saying she would like to go there because she likes to eat and shop does. Well, and drink too. I guess today we're drinking today, coffee. Yeah. Usually it's bourbon or wine. So it's only it's we've, only one o'clock. We've so. changed it, we've changed it down a little bit today. Uh number six, you guys. So we are on the east side. Mm -hmm. This is a cutie little neighborhood. And you look in the map, it's near Alameda, it's near Grant and Irvington, which we're going to talk about a, a little, little bit. So mm -hmm. yeah, Sabin is like an awesome mix. There's young people, families. Um, it's got those established Portland um, older trees. Like, mm -hmm. oh, they still my heart. Like yeah. I just really, really love those. It's a porch community as well. So you get a lot of those great um, oh, houses yeah. with the Portland porches on them. Which it's are, a thing, you guys. It's my favorite. I love a good porch. And especially when you have the sun streaming through the beautiful sure old growth trees that are lined <laughs> on the um, on the streets out there. It's also home to the French Immersion School and yep. Grant High School, which is an A-rated school in the area. So yeah, Grant's very... really cool and they have like an awesome park there. And uh, yeah, we love Sabin, awesome place. Our favorite haunts there are- Oh yes, okay. Whole Foods is amazing. They have a Whole Foods next to Starbucks, which 
don't go there or do whatever. <laughs> what you like? I'm not a fan. So something that I'm obsessed with is birds. I named my dog bird. It's weird. Anyways, but they have what's called the backyard bird shop there. And they specialize in these cute little bird houses. Yeah, so you gotta check it out if you go. It's just adorable and it's super fun and unique. Again, one of those fun things that you see only in Portland. Yeah. So oh, so number seven, I guess I'm not sure if we've been doing the countdown or not. <laughs> number seven is Irvington. So I used to live really close by and I used to go to Irvington Park all the time when my son was really young. I've Maybe I can send it to the editor, but I have some really adorable pictures of him on a skateboard with like elbow pads and knee pads and stuff. And it's a great, another one of those old Portland neighborhoods with the great tall old trees and the porches. And it has such a great community. Um, I had a friend who lived in Irvington for a long time and they did like a community garage sale. Oh, cute. So everybody would kind of get together on the same day of the year. And so you would just have this huge garage sale that you could go all over the place and get some really nice stuff because there's a lot of really expensive homes <laughs> in that area with people who have very yeah. expensive tastes. So you can get um, a lot of really great yeah. things for yourself um, <laughs> and then a couple other important things about Irvington it's actually a mix it has the Irvington historic uh designated homes yeah. so there's a society you can go and have your home designated that way or it's already pre-designated mm -hmm. but also on the south part of Irvington is Broadway which is a it's a major throughway, and so yeah. there's tons and tons of shops and restaurants there's a really cute um I think there's a Goodwill over there actually that usually there is. has. And so on one side of it is Irvington and the other side is Sullivan's Gulch. And so one of the things on the Irvington side is the Cadillac Cafe, which is really oh, cool. Yeah. Used to go there a lot. The Taco Peddler. Oh my God, you guys, we're, we're going to be there someday for lunch. I just yeah. Lunch. Then there's great like nail places and massage yeah. places and uh, wine shops. There's and... a kite shop there too, actually. Yeah, the sign in I think we like, I think we like Irvington. Irvington is fantastic. It's, <laughs> it's a great, bomb. great place. It's really walkable and there are the greenways that go through there oh, as yeah. well. Easy to ride. Um, and easy, like the Floyd District is kind of right next to that as well. So if you like going to the mall, there's a little mall over there For close now. by. Yeah. No, they, um, they decided they didn't sell it. Oh. It's still going to be a mall. A mall. It's going to get revamped. So well, there you go. Something to note. Uh, number eight is Hillside. So this is an interesting mix. It is on the west side of the Willamette. So you'll see it on the map there. It's like a mix of suburban and urban. So you are going to see kind of a, a big variety of like people who decide that they want yeah. to live there. It butts up to Forest Park, which so it's really oh, gorgeous. Man. It's a forest gorgeous, park. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, there will be a link in here um, we'll probably add it to the in the information attached to this video so if you want to check it out you can click that link and see Forest Park and all the information that it has because yeah. it's like 500 acres in the heart of the city I think it's the biggest park within a city in any city in the United States and it's pretty amazing there's all kinds of trails yeah. to take when you're there um, you can do there's like a fire road trail the Leif Erickson trail and you can go all the way up to Sky Line. It, within that, then there's other just walking trails uh, where bikes aren't allowed. So you get a nice mix. Mm -hmm. People are there, you know, it, it literally around. starts within the neighborhood and then you park mm -hmm. and then you start walking up and you can see like St. John's and some of it and all of that. So it's, it's just a really awesome park. We love going there. Super amazing. And then within the park, in that uh, trail system, you can take a trail up to Piddock Mansion where there are expansive views of the city, just beautiful a good um a tourist attraction and something to always like take the kids to you know yeah. when people come to town you take the little trail up there i mean you don't have to walk the trail you can actually drive so there's a way to get there that way as well but yeah. multiple ways to the hiking to do that. is kind of fun and then yeah we'll talk a little bit more or you can actually find the link down below yeah. about Piddock mansion it's a really beautiful story. and so that one in that area um homes are a little on the spendier side and they're mostly owned as opposed to rented and there's not a lot of condos or anything in that area yeah. it's mostly single family homes maybe some multi-generational now you guys we're just zooming through this list oh my god we're already to number nine yeah the we pearl are, so oh my goodness 
So love in, the pearl. We're uh, in talking about this. If you have any comments, if you've been here and you love going to Pittic Mansion, or you've been or heard about Forest Park, or maybe we are uh, giving you some. I don't think so, but maybe we're giving you some misinformation about things. Hard to keep it all together. <laughs> um, you can let us know in the comments, and um, we will respond to those, or give us a call and tell us. Hey, Taryn Tam. <laughs> That was not right, uh, or ask us some additional questions and we'll get back to you. So the Pearl on the west side, this has some beautiful high-end condos actually that were built not too long ago. So the Pearl was revamped uh, with Portland, I don't know how many years ago, but it was kind of like a yuckier place. Mm -hmm. um, we should caveat this, in, if you see it on the map, it's actually in downtown Portland. Yeah. So we're not so, in the suburbs. Yeah. Um, we are urban, urban, urban. Totally. Right yeah. So you can public transportation really, really easy. Like I said, there's some the older is down there. Yeah. Older condos and newer condos. You have Powell's, you have REI, you have Whole Foods. You kind of get that beautiful mix of everything. Uh, there's lots right of right there. Parks there as well. And oh, the fields park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah. Lots of really great stuff. And some of it is like really old Portland bricks and really cool kind of industrial like, oh, yeah. and then some of them are brand spanking new and super modern. So you get a mix of the two, which is kind of cool. A little bit of mixed medium out there. Yeah. I think, like the pearl, though. Um, I think that arcade, what's the arcade that's in oh, there? Is that in there? It's, in the pearl? yeah, ground control. Ground control. Ground Ooh, control is at it, But it's yeah. a really fun place as well as the REI and all of that stuff. And we talked about Powell's books. We talked about Powell's books before when we were talking about the Northwest, right? Takes up a whole city block, you guys. And Powell's Whoa. books is super, super rad. Tons of fun to go there. And they have, you know, story time and stuff, but. Oh, and one of the places that I was just at for happy hour with some of my girlfriends was Pink Rabbit. So shout out to, to, to them. It was really adorable, super cozy and Bougie sweet. Bougie cocktails. Yes. I had a Maker's Manhattan, speaking of bourbon, <laughs> <laughs> really delicious so and, and very nice. Yeah. Oh, something we've never talked about before that I want to talk about. I don't know if, however, how many other cities have this, but we kind of in downtown Portland got away from like the parking meters that you have to feed with coins or oh, put yeah. in your debit card. That's so now there, you know. there is with your smartphone, you just put this app, it's called Parking Kitty. It's awesome. And you, you add your car, whatever car it is that you're driving and you can easily park and it tells you when your meter is running out yeah. so you can add stuff without having to get out. I love it. Maybe in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running back. Feed like, the meter so you can do it really easily on your phone. You know, And it's the parking is actually affordable in comparison to like some other places. Plus we have a lot of like those big parking structures yeah. and a lot of places are really good about validating your parking. Yeah. And there's, I mean, a lot of easy ways to just get around uh, with all the public transportation. So for sure. Yeah. So we talked about in um, the Pearl is the train station as well so super easy to hop a train and go yep. wherever it is that you want and the there, sack. there is <laughs> the bullet bus as well oh, it yeah. will take you for really cheap up to seattle um but i love riding the train because you know you have the the drink car <laughs> <laughs> You're not alcoholic. And the right? view, and you can read, you, can enjoy you know, life. kind of yeah. easily and walk around and not have to be stuck in a seat for hours on end. So, yeah, really pretty. Okay. We made it to a number 10. ten. But remember, we have a bonus one. So, don't go anywhere. <laughs> you can just come back. It's fine. So, Marshall Park is number 10. And this is, it's a very small little area. You have Markham right here and it's close to Selwood, close to Lake Oswego, but really it's just foresty, kind of suburban, not really walkable per se to like. And when we say suburban, think of when you think of a huge development that has absolutely no trees, yeah. right? Where it's just like landscaped, just grass everywhere. This is very, very hilly. It has lots of old growth, lots of forested areas, yeah. lots of hiking trails. It's got Tryon Creek Park right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, so in, in some of those places, you get some nice views, tons of food and cool places to yeah. like hang out. Even though we're talking about suburbs, it's a park like yeah. suburb. So, so it's like, it's like having a great house 
dumped in the middle of a park and yeah, you just have all these it's beautiful awesome. trees. So, yep. Um, Are you ready for bonus? All right. Okay. Bonus is oh, okay. da, 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 da. Laurel Hurst. Laurel Hurst. So, Laurel Hurst is near Sabin and Irvington and all of that. Uh, it, it, the big main street through there or main road is Burnside. So, you have uh, Laurel Hurst Park. You have a lot of like the older established homes. They're yeah, like beautiful, the, beautiful big trees all, all yeah. of that right the there. Yeah, the architecture out there oh, is yeah. stunning. You, you, it, you cannot beat it. There's four squares and craftsmen's and tutors and just these big yeah. sprawling the mansion English, yeah. like houses, Dutch colonials, you know, and the, their lot sizes are really generous. Yeah, the landscaping double. is amazing mm -hmm. and they have the greenways out there walkability and they're really close to some really cool kind of keep portland weird sort of areas yeah. like the hawthorne district and things like that so belmont all it's just that's a great like middle spot i think for yeah. the things that i really like to do with the dog parks and all all of those uh one of our absolute favorite place that you cannot beat if you are a meat eater mm -hmm. is the laurel hearst market. market so they actually are a butcher shop with a restaurant attached and with COVID happening they modified their parking lot and attached this beautiful covered space that's heated and mm -hmm. everything like that so they have a really nice lunch menu that's not like crazy steak prices where they're right. like fresh cutting roast beef and different things like that uh delicious wines um really nice selection in there if you want to get a little fancy and take somebody on a date or go out for a date night or just treat yourself, mm -hmm. make a reservation and go for the evening thing. It's it's really fun. Um, and it's just, yeah, good aesthetics. And I really, I really like it. I went there uh, twice yeah. in, in one week. Yeah, once. we've we've celebrated quite a bit in that area. <laughs> um, another really cool thing about that is there's Music Millennium right across the street. So we yeah. haven't talked a lot about the, the music venues, but music is huge here in the Portland metro area. Lots of outdoor summer festivals, music festivals. There's music in the park every summer. Each yeah. park kind of, and you can look that up too, Portland Music in the Park. They usually do some sort of event um, afterwards as well. So they'll do like pop-up kind of like sit-in movie theaters instead of a drive-in. You can sit at a park, oh, you yeah. listen to music, and then after dark, then they'll play a couple kind of old school movies, maybe Goonies or something like that. Um, you know, yeah. um, not blockbusters, but well, some blockbusters, but Ghostbusters, that's the one I meant. <laughs> you know, kid-friendly sorts of events yeah. that you can do out there in that area as well. Or I think um, in the, all of that stuff is really awesome. The Music Millennium is one of the older music stores in the area. And it's like, it's, it's the, you walk in and you're like, wait, I can go up here, or I can go down here. And then it just keeps going and yeah. going and going. It's much like Powell's books. It has that same sort of feel, but on the music side and of things. And, and it's really cool. You can buy vinyl, you know, CDs, like all of the old school stuff. And they have beautiful record players that you can get there. And they sell, and then music memorabilia as well. It's a yeah. super, super cool place. Definitely check it out. Um, so thanks if you stayed till the end. Yeah, uh, got your bonus in there. You got your bonus, you guys. We are so happy to be connecting with you. And again, reach out to us in whatever way is most convenient for you. Yeah. Our number and information is below. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, and so again, you know, we love helping people. So if you're looking to relocate, we've helped a ton of people and we'd love to help you too. So. All right. Good seeing you guys. Bye.